They could have treated me better. I lost my house after 52 years. They messed up my life. It was like a punch in a distance. The home office just wants me to lie down and die. They could have treated me better after 52 years. Anthony Bryan was wrongly held for five weeks in immigration removal centres. In November 2017, immigration officers arrived at his home with a battering ram, arrested him and booked him on a flight back to Jamaica, the country he had left when he was eight in 1965 and had not visited since. After his case was highlighted in The Guardian, officials acknowledged he was in the UK legally. I thought I would die. Beavis Smith arrived in London in 1972, aged 16. More than 40 years later, he was admitted into hospital with a brain aneurysm, where staff told him he may have to cover the £5,000 cost. While there, he lost his home because of his illegal residency status and was ineligible for a bed in a state-funded homeless hostel so they discharged him to the streets. Eventually, a bed was found for him and he spent years trying to prove his residency until in January 2018, the Home Office confirmed he had indefinite leave to remain. He's still waiting to be compensated. I came back in a wheelchair Pauline Clear arrived in 1960, aged 11, and worked as a social worker. She almost died after being prevented from returning to the UK from a holiday in Jamaica, having thought the official was joking when he said she couldn't get on the plane. It took 18 months before she was allowed home, during which time she lost her job, and her 14-year-old daughter faced eviction. Unable to access diabetes medication in Jamaica, she was admitted to hospital twice. I was numb. I felt cold. Briggs Levi Maynard came to London in 1957 and got a job as a bus conductor. After a lifetime of working here, he retired on a state pension in 1993. He travelled on his Barbadian passport many times without travel. But in 2017 at Bridgetown Airport, he was told that he could not return to the UK because he had neither residency nor records of his immigration status. It was like a punch in the stomach. Tony Perry arrived in Britain in 1959 from Jamaica. He served in the Navy, later became a social worker for Harringay Council and also worked as a pastor. He was refused a passport in 2001. The Home Office told him, We're sorry to inform you that you are not a British citizen. He was devastated. I serve on Her Majesty's behalf. We were invited here and then thrown away again like rubbish. The Home Office just wants me to lie down and die. Where Harrison lives in a bin shed in South London and is not allowed to work as a gardener. He moved from Jamaica at the age of six. Having been convicted of theft, a crime he said he did not commit. The Home Office is trying to deport him. It really kills me that the Home Office wants to take me and put me somewhere I do not know. I felt like I didn't exist. Paulette Wilson, a former cook at the House of Commons, arrived in the UK in 1968, aged 10. Almost 50 years later, she was told that she was here illegally arrested twice and prevented from working. In October 2017, she was sent to an immigration detention centre 
for a week, taken to Heathrow for deportation to Jamaica. A last minute intervention from her MP and a charity prevented her removal. I didn't see my dad before he died. Noel Smith grew up in Jamaica with his grandparents while his parents worked in the UK. They struggled to bring him to England. After receiving short-term visas in the 1990s, Noel was allowed to stay for six months in 2002. He was required to sign in with the Home Office every month, but missed an appointment due to sickness. At his next visit, he was deported and told he couldn't return for five years. During this time, his father died. I lost my house. Leighton Joseph Robinson's children took him to Jamaica for his 50th birthday, his first visit since arriving in Britain age six. But on his return, he was told that he's not allowed back into the UK because he has no visa. He was stuck in Jamaica for 21 months until a solicitor helped him. On his return, he was told he had to pay £4,500 in unpaid council tax and rent. He was made homeless. They messed up my life. Hubert Howard died in November 2019 before receiving an apology or compensation. He spent the last two months of his life fighting for British citizenship from an intensive care bed. He was granted it two weeks before he died and 59 years after he arrived aged three from Jamaica in 1960. He worked all his life until 2012 when he was wrongly labelled an illegal immigrant by the Home Office and sacked from his job. <laughs> 